What is good, everybody? Today we are taking a look at a brand new AEW unmatched action figure wave, man. This is a wave that we've known about for a little while, but we finally have images of the full wave, full detailed images. We got to see the some of these. We got to see some of these at San Diego Comic Con, but we really couldn't even see them because they were glued down to this big mountain base. It was very annoying because I couldn't see everything. However, the display was cool. I will say it was a cool display. I like the display. It's just I couldn't see all the damn details that I wanted to see on these figures. But today we actually get to see them, man, and that is including the first Edge or Adam Copeland figure that we're going to take a look at. So today we're looking at AEW Unmatched Series number 10, starting off with Edge and Adam Copeland here, who are the same person. Don't, uh, I'm, don't confuse it, Brad. But here we go. Men on card shots, and we do get the loose images here, and this is the figure. And in person, this figure looks very good, and I think here it looks very good. I think it's a great-looking figure here. I think that's the Claudio or Cesaro torso, if I'm not mistaken, and this might actually be the full the full entire formula. This might be the exact Claudio formula. I can't exactly tell from these images or right off the top of my head, but that's what I'm getting here. That's what I'm thinking about here as I'm looking at this, but I do like this figure. I think the head sculpt looks good. I like the details on the jacket, and the jacket, the vest doesn't bother me because it doesn't have sleeves. If it had sleeves and it was preventing, you know, preventing arm articulation and kind of hugging the figure, that would be very disappointing, but here, I'm not getting any of that. I think this has a very detailed vest that you could probably put on other figures as well of Edge, which will be cool. It says Rated R Era on it. He's got a cool gear going on. I like the red. I like the greenish gray on the kick pads. This is a pretty damn good edge figure to start off, and I think the head sculpt looks good. I think this is a, a fine edge to start off, and actually the, the thing that I thought of when I saw this figure in this image here posted by Ringside Collectibles, I immediately thought, I think a Supreme Edge would be pretty good. I think if they could get the get the formula right, get the proportions right and everything like that, this would be a perfect guy to plug into the Supreme line. He's got the popularity. He could come with a nice entrance coat. You could do a couple different gears. You know, he's very good at selecting his gear and everything like that. So I think they could do, you know, and then you'd have like all the different head sculpts. You could do the, you know, the screaming head sculpt or the pissed off head sculpt. There's so many different things they could do. So I think Edge, Edge is a really good one here. I think he'd be the perfect guy to include into a Supreme line. I think this would be awesome. So the Edge figure looks good. This is a good start here. I don't know how I feel about those massive elbow pads, though, but everything else looks pretty crispy to me. But let's move on to the next figure, man. We have the Adam Cole here in the pink gear. Now, you guys know as well as I do, I am not a big fan of the Adam Cole figures. It does... Am I tripping, or did they change his torso? His torso looks a little bit different to me, but it probably isn't. It probably isn't. I just think they make him look a little bit too stumpy. But the pink on this gear, am I wrong or did they make his pink wrong? The pink is supposed to be this bright Bret Hart style pink. To me, this looks a bit magenta. This is kind of a magenta-y, you know, purplish pink, you know, kind of on the darker side. This is not that bright pink that I feel like he wore. Now, outside of the pink color and outside of the stumpy lumpkins that we have going on, the head sculpt's pretty good. It does look a little oversized. I think it's a solid Adam Cole in terms of that. You do have the boom head sculpt there. He's kind of, you know, I mean, you could do... There's a lot of different expressions you could use with that head sculpt, right? It could be blowing bubbles. He could be saying woo like Ric Flair. I mean, there's some different things there. But you do have a nice, you know, a newer Adam Cole head sculpt there that is nice. But the pink right here is not accurate. I, I That kind of bums me out. I wish that this had the accurate pink. It's still a cool looking figure in terms of the gear. I still think that even if the pink's not the correct shade, it's still a good looking figure. I just, I am not a fan of the Adam Cole figures from my AEW. I just do not like the way they look personally. I just think that the, I think the Mattel formula worked better for him in my opinion, even though I know they gave him the Daniel Bryan torso. I think a Bo Dallas or a Matt Hardy torso works better for Adam Cole, but I, I don't know, man. I, I still like this gear. I'm happy to get this gear in the line and have Adam Cole. I just think that it could look better than this. I think it could look better than this. So let's move on to the next one, man. We have Kenny Omega. You guys know I love Kenny Omega, and this gear right here is his matchup with Brian Danielson. This is the bright blue. You have the silver, white, black, which is some of my favorite color combos that you'll find. And you guys know as well as I do, Kenny Omega's figures are always chef's kiss. They always feel so good in hand. They're always super poseable. And hopefully we can, you know, mix up some different things here and make a really cool Kenny Omega. I'm trying to think off the top of the dome what you could do with these lower legs. Like, maybe you could switch the kick pads for different kick pads or different knee pads or put these kick pads on some other gears or, you know, just switch some things up to kind of, you know, create your own Kenny Omega there. But, you know, you could turn this guy into a Supreme. All you'd have to do is switch the torso with a Supreme torso from a Kenny Omega. You could do that. 
you could use different head sculpts. This does look to be a newly repainted head sculpt. I don't think it's a repeat. It's a repeat head sculpt. Don't get me wrong. It is, in fact, a repeat head sculpt that we've seen multiple times over. But I don't think we've seen it with these paint apps necessarily. So that's that's a whole other deal right there. But I like Kenny Omega a lot. I like the way this figure looks. And I'm excited to add another Kenny Omega. I'll never get tired of the Kenny Omegas. Just keep pumping them out. Kind of like Darby Allen. His formula is so good. They feel so good in hand. They pose around so well that I'm not going to be upset about another Kenny Omega. You know what I mean? So I think the Kenny is a pretty damn good one right here let's move on to the next figure though we do have kyle o'reilly now kyle o'reilly right here man kind of look like a zombie a little bit he looks a bit palish getting a little bit of that two you know that two-tone skin going on right there on the upper torso and the lower torso he does have this black and silver gear with gray which looks pretty good i like the little kick pose they put him on there with that high kick that looks pretty good but we are getting a little bit of weirdness going on here. But I still think the figure is pretty solid. I like the gear. I don't hate this figure. I hope it's not too tall also. But I don't like despise this figure in any way. I just think that, you know, I think he's a little bit light. I think that the head sculpt could be better. But I don't despise it. I do like that he's got a little bit of the, you know, he's got the reddish beard going on with the darker hair. Which is something you see you know, in real life, so that's cool. I, I don't know, man. I don't hate the figure. I just think that it, it could be executed better, but it'll be cool to get this in here as a first-time guy. You know, we'll get it in here. We'll see what he's all about. Hopefully, he will not fail, but I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. We'll see. I like Kyle O'Reilly, so we'll get him in here. Not even our first Kyle O'Reilly. We got it in that two-pack from the Jazzwares vault, but let's move on to the next figure, guys. We have the Young Bucks. We have Matt and Nick Jackson, and I know these are old gears and whatever. They do come with the AEW tag titles, but you know, they're kind of based on the Walmart exclusive bucks, and I like the way they're kind of built right here. I like these legs. I like how poseable they are. Hopefully, they will stand nice and all those things, but I like the bright orange. Kind of reminds me a lot of that Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins that we have coming, the Amazon fan takeover. So hopefully, you know, that. Yeah, I don't know, maybe you want to create a faction right there. You know, they all kind of dress kind of crazy. You could kind of pair them together right there. That would be insane. Seth Rollins leading the Bucks. That, that kind of, I don't know, it kind of sounds fire on paper. Maybe you can make it happen, but the black wrist tape looks good. I like this Matt Jackson head sculpt. He looks, he really doesn't look like Matt Jackson all that much. He looks like somebody else, but you got, you know as well as I do, there's multiple head sculpts you could use. I like the way the torsos look and the sh the shoes look good and the, the details here. I even think they have the Elite on the back of the shoes there and Young Bucks, so they have some cool graphics going on. Pretty cool looking figures right here. I like these Young Bucks. Matt Jackson looks good, and then even Nick Jackson looks good, even though Nick Jackson's hair looks like it's... I mean, it's bright orange. It's crazy how bright it is. But I still like the gear. I like the gear a lot. I like the formulas. I like that they come with chains. You know, you throw some custom jackets on here, some custom head sculpts or whatever. They, they have that kind of Joe Exotic look going on. I think they look pretty good, though. They look fire, literally. I like the pants. The little They look like they're dry brushed and everything. A lot of cool details going on right here, and I think that these could be cool. I even like their headbands. I, I, I think that... I think that Nick's head sculpt looks good. I just don't know about the hair. I may have to repaint the hair or something. But the headbands and everything look good. The likeness is nice. But let's move on to the chases in the set now. For the Rare Edition, we do have one of 3,000. This is going to be Brandon Cutler. And this is a figure we've been waiting on for quite a while. I do love this t attire. I love how bright it is. I love how colorful it is. You have kind of that zebra print sort of feathery looking stripes going down, which looks cool. I like the shoes with the rainbow. He comes with a camera and a spray can. He even comes with a spray can hand, which is cool. So you can pretend spray. He has the face mask. It's a very cool figure. I like this figure a lot. And I think that this is pretty awesome. I, I wish that this was easier to obtain. I did find the Al Alex Reynolds in person so maybe I'll have better you know some luck as well finding other chases such as this the ones that are not easier to find but hopefully it will not be that difficult to find. And I don't think this is going to be one of those figures that you have to pay your whole life savings on, you know? I don't think it's going to be one of those situations. So I think the people that truly want this figure are going to be able to grab it. And it's just a cool-looking figure in general. I like the jogger look and everything. And you could probably put many people in this depending on the size of the figure. We'll have to see what comes of that. But I like this figure. We've been waiting on this one for a while. And I look forward to it. Hopefully, he's very poseable. But just having, you know, a guy in sweats is always something cool for me. But the last figure is going to be the one of 5,000 chase, I do believe. And that is going to be Adam Cole. He's got the, I I think that the, the black attire is the chase and the pink is the regular edition for Adam Cole, I believe. I could be wrong. Neither of them have the sticker. But I do believe the black shirt version is the one that comes with the, the chase. I think that is the chase there. He's going to have the Adam Cole shirt with the black. It's just a black and silver gear. Not the most exciting thing. He does come with a boom head sculpt and everything. This is certainly a figure that I'd probably keep men on card if I found it or anything. Not anything that's going to shatter the earth. It's just a shirt 
with a black and silver gear. Again, nothing to, you know, just break your neck over. If you find it, cool, pick it up, keep them in on carb, whatever. It looks cool in the packaging, but I, I don't think it's anything that's gonna, you know, just rattle the, the Earth stratosphere, you know what I mean? So that's, that's what I find there with this entire wave. It's a solid wave. I think it's a pretty solid wave overall. I don't hate any of the figures. I think, for the most part, all of them look pretty good. Adam Cole is probably my least favorite. I just don't. The, the formula they use for him completely takes me out, and that's kind of where I stand on Adam Cole, but everything else, I think it's fair. I think it's a fair shake. I think it's okay. Nothing to write home about, like I stated, but I don't know. The figure I'm most excited about from the set, probably going to be Edge or Kenny Omega, but the Bucks look pretty good, too, so I think it's a pretty overall very nice wave, but we'll see what comes of it when they arrive. Surely they'll arrive soon, man. But anyways, that is going to wrap up our news today for the AEW and Match Series 10. I'd love to know what you guys think of all this down in the comment section below. Also, huge Shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you guys so very much for everything. I appreciate each and every one of you guys so very much. But I think that is going to wrap up today's news video on AEW Unmatched Series number 10. Let me know what you guys think of these figures down below. A lot of things to unpack with the AEW line. I think they're undergoing some changes and stuff, so we'll see how it goes over the progression of 2024 into 2025. A lot of stuff on the horizon I'm excited about from them, but we'll have to see at the end of the day if they can execute it right. But at the end of the day, man, that is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.